From Hollywood, it's time now for Bob Bailey as... Johnny Dollar. Mr. Dollar, this is Father Taggart. I'm calling you from Ossining. I'm one of the chaplains here at Sing Sing. Oh, yes, sir. What can I do for you, Father? Well, nothing for me, Mr. Dollar, but possibly for someone else. Michael Cairn, one of our inmates, asked me to contact you. Michael Cairn? Mm Mm-hmm. You remember him? He wasn't sure you would. Old-time grifter and con man who got tied up with an insurance fraud a few years ago? Blonde fella? Yes. Well, Michael wants to see you, Mr. Dollar. Could you possibly find the time to come up here? Oh, I don't know, Father. Is this something important? It is to Michael. Oh, well, uh, look, I'll be in New York sometime next month. Maybe I'll get a chance to stop off. Well, couldn't you possibly make it sooner? What's the rush? He's going to be there quite a while, isn't he? Not very long, I'm afraid. Michael is dying. All right, Father, you can expect me. Welcome to Johnny Dollar. Beginning tonight and every weekday night, Bob Bailey in the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account. America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. (laughs) Expense account submitted by Special Investigator Johnny Dollar to the Allied Casualty and Insurance Company Limited, Markham Building, Hartford, Connecticut. Attention, Ed Barth, Controller's Office. This is an accounting of expenditures during my investigation of the McCormick matter. Though you didn't authorize the investigation, Ed, I'm sure that once the facts are out, you will honor the following. Expense account, item one, $7.95. Train fare and incidentals, Hartford to Austin, New York. I was admitted inside the prison and greeted by Father Taggart. He's a tall, mild-looking man, a Jesuit, I believe. He had a pass all ready for me, and he led me straight to the prison infirmary. Just in here. Michael will certainly appreciate your coming, Mr. Dollar. I hope it satisfies whatever's on his mind. I can't imagine what it would be. You know it was my investigation and testimony that put him in here, Father. He told me all about that, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with why he wants to see you. See, his lungs started to go about two years ago, and there's just been no way to arrest the condition. Does he know how close he is? Oh, he is. And he's not afraid to die. Here we are, Mr. Dollar. Oh. What? Hardly the same man I remember, Father. He's had it bad lately. Lost a great deal of weight. Yeah. Asleep? Yes. Michael. Michael! Oh. Hey, Father. I brought someone to see you. What do you say? Hiya, Mike. Oh. (laughs) Thanks for coming. Thanks, Johnny. Thank Father Taggart here. Uh, He's an all right guy, Johnny. He's just like you. I always say... Sample complete. Ready to continue?